guys, I've just finished watching the Liverpool game against Manchester City. What a knife edge uh, situation and a knife edge game there. And I'm trying to hold back my emotions because the reaction from Steven Gerrard at the end of the game said it all for me. And uh, like I told you, me also, I think, but it's not over yet. We, we got to keep our concentrations and let, let emotions take over and s still try to keep a cool head. But today was a s very massive, significant step in this close title race. And uh, it was basically for me a game of two halves, and Liverpool were at times fantastic especially in the first half uh, it was uh, nail-biting stuff in the second half it was a game of two halves like I said and in the end probably a draw or maybe a city win would have been a fair result we've also been lucky and unlucky also and uh, a bit careless uh, to take uh, our chances to score the third goal. So like I said, Liverpool in typical fashion started very, very strongly, raced into a 2-0 lead by I think 20-25 minutes, the first goal from Raheem Sterling, an excellent through ball from Luis Suarez and Sterling turned both company and uh, Jan Hart inside out in the box and with a cool and great finish 1-0 up Liverpool soon after a corner from Liverpool resulting from relentless pressure from Liverpool and Skirtel with a magnificent header put Liverpool 2-0 up and it was all Liverpool it was at this particular time uh, the game was enjoyable and uh, we were waiting and I was waiting for this third goal because you all know 2 nil leads are, is a dangerous score. The next goal is always crucial. If it comes back to 2-1 and it did in the second half, it's, uh, the dynamics of the, games, of the game changes and uh, the, if, if we had a third goal to make it 3-0 it was almost game over. Talking about the luck that Liverpool had, uh, first of all, I think Yaya Toure got injured, so it was a big uh, blow for Manchester City. They replaced him with Javi Garcia, who is nowhere near the level of Yaya Toure, but he still did well. Manchester City also, fair play to them, credit to them for their mental strength and their quality, obviously, to come back into this game. Like I'm telling you, in second half, Liverpool were were made to pay for not taking their chances to make it 3-0 and they had the chances I think Coutinho in the box who by the way not criticizing Coutinho at all and was very very impressed with him today especially his winning goal it was a strong shot my main criticism of Coutinho this season was that he, he needs to work on his shooting which is always for me not strong enough albeit precise but never strong enough and not to take anything away from his creativity, but today I was very, very impressed by Coutinho's defending. He defended, he applied, his pressing was marvellous, and uh, Brendan Rodgers has done wonders with Coutinho also, who has improved massively when I look at this game, and the, the last few games actually. So Liverpool were lucky in the winning goal uh, company, it was an attack from Liverpool against the run of play would be fair to say in the second half I think Glenn Johnson on the right wing put uh, sent in an innocuous cross but uh, Vincent Company crucially missed uh, missed hit his clearance and it went straight to Coutinho but he still had to concentrate and apply himself to pull the trigger and was a strong very strong Curling shot, low shot, Jan Hart, no chance. And then the, the, it was on the 
there was still 12 to 15 minutes left to go it was ever, like again uh, nail biting stuff uh, and uh, it wasn't for the uh, those who have uh, heart problems I think uh, would need to go and see their cardiologist again uh, I think I will need to have to go and get some heart checks me also but anyway coming back to Manchester City also they they got back into the game for David Silva uh, when the, they applied their the quality you know uh, with one touch football quick passing Liverpool couldn't get hold of the ball and you could sense the goals from Manchester City coming and what when it was 2-2 two, two, uh, Liverpool were holding on, we, we have to admit it. And at this point of the game, uh, our, my mind was in between two chairs, you know. Uh, uh, I didn't know too much what to hope for. Obviously a draw would have been much more better than uh, a defeat, but uh, it was looking all Manchester City, to, to, to be fair. And thankfully we got a gift from Vincent Company. Liverpool extremely lucky with a reckless tackle uh, from Mamadou Sako in the box against Edwin Dzeko in the first half and the game was a 2 nil. could have easily been 2-1 also in the first half. It was a penalty, a clear-cut penalty. Mamadou Sako clearly missed his tackle against Dzeko and it wasn't given. Simon Mignole also who at one point, I think in the first half also, who made a goal kick, uh, missed his goal kick straight onto a Manchester City player, but fortunately uh, he was so surprised, I think it was David Silva, couldn't control the, the ball, but he'd redeemed himself, uh, Simon Mignoli, with an excellent title winning save uh, against Fernandinho. Uh, Low shot volley from Fernandinho, he did everything right, but a great save from Mignole. And at 2 2, Sergio Aguero, who came on for the last 15 minutes, where it was all Manchester City, he almost made us pay. Uh, he, was, uh, he, recep he was on the reception of a long, long ball from Manchester City's uh, back four. And he was on the edge, on the edge of the box. He had two options. Either he, he was free, he was on his own, and David Silva made an intelligent run, diagonal run, on the outside of the Liverpool's defense. And uh, Sergio Aguero delivered an exquisite through ball to him, and millimeters away from making it three-two, guys. And it was very, very lucky. Very I was lucky. a bit worried about Luis Suarez, who had a, a yellow card inside five minutes for reckless uh, tackle, and um, he put on his diving suit. It's fair to say today, and he was getting a bit nervous. Typical Luis Suarez, he's on the dark side, but he still played well. Not to forget his crucial assist for Raheem Sterling. But one Liverpool player that disappointed me today was Daniel Sturridge. Uh, in fact, it's for the last two to three games now. I will never. It wouldn't be fair to criticize Sturridge. He has he's had a magnificent season. Whatever happens, also, and uh, he's contributed his fair share, a load of goals. But in the last two to three games, Daniel Sturridge hasn't been at the level that we've been used to. Whether this is down to tiredness, fitness, or whatever, and. Uh, he was substituted. I don't know if it was a tactical one or if he was injured. I think it was mainly a tactical one. Uh, Joe Allen came in and did well. But uh, there was a still a, a, a mini or mi could prove a massive blow for Liverpool uh, in this uh, emotional win today. Jordan Henderson got a red card deep into stoppage time and he will now miss three crucial games, notably against Chelsea. Uh, Jordan Henderson will be a big miss because we badly need him on, at both ends of the field. He tracks back, his pressing is not to be neglected and he also provides a cutting edge in the offensive side of Liverpool's play. 
But anyway, job done, three points. We were also lucky with uh, Martin Skirtle, who it was a clear handball. I think Manchester City fans won't be happy about this. They will even think that uh, the minimum that they deserve was a draw, but sometimes it goes for you, sometimes it doesn't. But I'm fair enough to hold my hands up and say that uh, we were lucky today. We were, we were very good in the, sec uh, in the first half. We struggled in the second half. Fair play to Manchester City. It is not over yet by any means. And I, as much as I enjoyed uh, Steven Gerrard's emotional reaction uh, when the final whistle was blown, I also admired his coolness and calmness when he was interviewed by Jeff Rees, uh on Sky Sports. Try to look at uh, Steven Gerrard's reaction on Sky Sports. This tells you everything about the man about his loyalty and uh, like I'm telling you if there's someone who deserves this title it's Steven Gerrard and he might not have a better chance now he's not getting any younger but he's proved me wrong already and uh, I hope to God that he gets this title because he deserves it so much he could have won so many more and much more money elsewhere but he stick with Liverpool during the good and bad times, he contributed massively for the good times of Liverpool. He's been a marvellous captain. And what better to celebrate his marvellous career with Liverpool with a title that he deserves so much. But it's not about emotion. You need to deserve it. You need still to fight. Norwich will be as tough as against uh, Manchester City, but it's obviously a massive psych psychological boost today. Uh, but we'll have to see what happens. Like I'm, like I'm telling you, I enjoyed Steven Gerrard's uh, reaction, uh, post-match reaction, when he... I enjoyed his uh, none of your business to Jeff Fries, uh, <laughs> as Sky Sports to tell him that no one is getting carried away. We mustn't get carried away. We must be as motivated and as concentrated uh, for the game against Norwich, which are fighting for who are fighting for their lives, and it will be a very very tough game. No Jordan Henderson also for the next three games, so we need to, to enjoy this massive victory today. But it's not over yet, still four cup finals to go. And the belief is still on, the dream is still on. Hopefully it turns into reality, but we need, still need to take it one game at a time. We still have, we still got Chelsea to come at Anfield, which won't be easy at all also. All the remaining four games won't be easy. And we need to fight on. But anyway, well done to the lads, well done to all the the players, the team, a special thought for the 96 who I'm sure have been watching in the sky and uh, to all the families also as obviously talking about the Hisbro disaster, Hisbro memorial uh, in two days uh, this week and uh, I think they contributed also because we seem to have the luck of the stars also <laughs> But anyway, guys, take care, and uh, I try to speak to you after the Norwich game. Enjoy it, and believe the dream is still on, guys. Take care. Bye.